racist comments. Hey, this is Billy Goldfeder answering some questions from you as part of our What's Your Problem series hosted by Fire Rescue One in Lexapol. And let's go to today's question. What do I do if I overhear one of my brother or sister firefighters saying racist things about other members of our department? You know, <clears throat> either you're brother or you're not, either you're a sister or you're not. And I, I like to use the term BMA, which is brotherhood my ass. Uh, we are quick to wear a t-shirt or put a sticker on or, or even use the words brother or sister, but sometimes we're not so quick in acting in that manner. Specific to your question, if you're an officer, you have an obligation and you must address that comment. If you hear one of your subordinate firefighters making comments uh, that are racist, inappropriate, sexist, whatever, that's not okay. And let me help you understand why that's not okay. Some of you may say, hey, I got freedom of speech. I can do what I want. Not exactly. When you're on duty at the fire department, whether you're paid or volunteer, you're still on duty and paychecks are irrelevant to me. You have a certain expectation of a type of behavior. You are being compensated for your behavior. Again, whether you're volunteer career, I don't care. The fact is you assume this responsibility, you've assumed this role, right, in the fire department, and you're getting something for it. In exchange for that, here's the key part, we are renting your behavior. And that means we can expect you to behave a certain way. No different than we can tell you to put an air pack on uh, because that's what's best for you when you go into the building. We can also educate you and train you on how to behave when it comes to uh, prejudices, uh, racial issues, uh, sexism, whatever the issue is that you have, we can train you and help you better understand why it's not okay to treat people that way. So if, as I mentioned, if you're an officer, you have an obligation, what your de department policy is, check it out, look it up, follow the policy, and then document or whatever you're supposed to do. You know, it may be just this. Maybe somebody made a, 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 a very light-hearted comment and you're not even sure if they made the comment to be mean joe come here a minute listen to me and you'd say this in private i heard what you said i really want you to rethink that and understand your audience here okay i don't like hearing that language i don't think anybody else does so oh i need my oh, cap i'm sorry i didn't mean that you know what and sometimes that can really solve the problem now if it's an ongoing issue then you're going to need more help and let's think about this like a hazmat incident. When an engine company pulls up to an incident, it's a hazmat incident. They stabilize the situation, right? And then they call in the experts. That's how you as a company officer need to deal with this. As far as if you encounter a racial situation, some very nasty comments, some poor behaviors. Deal with it immediately, stabilize it, but then notify your battalion chief, notify your deputy chief, notify whatever your policy is to do it. Remember, you're not an expert in everything, but you're a heck of a great initial arriving fire officer. So whether it's a fire or a behavioral issue, stabilize it, stop it, and let's see what we need to do long term to fix it. Now, let's say you're a fire. So I covered the officer part. Let's say you're a firefighter. You may be in a more comfortable position to say something because you're not a boss. You don't have the brass and the authority and all that. It's just like, hey, Mary, did you understand what you said back there? What do you mean? I've been using that term for years. Yeah, but you know what? I'm not sure it's going to be accepted. Oh, come on. We can't say anything around here anymore. You can say whatever you want around here anymore as long as you're not offensive to somebody. Now, some of you listening to this, I know are going to say everything's offensive today. And you know what? I feel that way sometimes, too. One minute I see Mr. Potato Heads being taken off TV, and then I see the Muppets are being taken off TV and all that. It doesn't matter. That's society. Let's think about in the firehouse. And we have two groups of customers we need to be focused about. Are our personnel comfortable with our behaviors? That's your test. And are our behaviors comfortable within the community, the way we act? Are we good in the community? Are we good in the firehouse? That's probably the best way to deal with it. So just to recap quickly, if you're an officer, you must deal with it. 
how you deal with it is based upon your training, your policies and procedures. Sometimes it's just a quick reminder. Other, other times it's a very serious situation where you have to bring in those backup resources. And if you're a firefighter dealing with it to a peer of yours, or if you're an officer and it's another officer, same kind of thing. You can probably have a more frank discussion there because it's not a supervisory situation. Listen, I hope that was helpful to you. Uh, not an easy one, but you know what? I think if we take time just to talk to people sometimes, problems are solved a lot quicker than maybe texting or posting or things like that. So give that a shot. Hey, listen, email me at FireRescue1 with your questions. I'll go out of my way to get you the right answers and some opinion along the way. And odds are, if I can't help you, I know somebody who can. Thanks for joining us. Take care.